What's poppin'? It's your boy Leo, AGB TV, Avant Garde Bullies. It's a lifestyle. I'm here with the Bully Camp Products Dog Cage. I was looking for something online on how to set it up, a review. Didn't find anything. AGB TV decided to bring to you the unboxing, review, and setup of the Bully Camp Products Dog Cage. So let's get into it. When you open the box, it comes out nice and packaged. Everything's nice and tight. We're gonna pop this open. We're going to lay these pieces out for you guys just so you can get a good look at them before I decide to put the dog cage together. It comes with many pieces. You, you get more than enough of everything you need to put this cage together. Let's get into the pieces. It comes with four wheels. Uh, two wheels have stoppers on them, so I do use those in the front. It comes with more than enough um, screws and nuts to put this uh, cage together. Some of the screws and nuts are stripped, you know, that's how it goes sometimes, but he gives you more than enough to put the cage together. It comes with two big bolts and nuts. At first I didn't know what these pieces were for because the cage doesn't come with instructions, but then I later found out that these nuts and bolts are for stacking the cage. Each cage comes with two of them, so when you buy another cage you will get two more. Makes it very nice and sturdy when you stack them. It comes with four caps for the top of the cage if you're not going to stack it. And if you are going to stack it, you can put it at the top. You do want to use these things because the cage can pinch you or cut you. It comes with the tool you need to put the cage together, but I would suggest having your own tools on hand will make it a lot easier to put this cage together. Everything comes in a bag. The bag itself is a nice um, quality bag, but I do wish that the bag had some way of sealing to hold these pieces. The cage comes with two trays. These trays go into the bottom of the cage. They work real well with catching the piss and the shit that might fall in the cage when the dog's training. The bottom of the cage is a solid piece. I do wish the bottom of the cage floor came apart because it makes it difficult to clean if you're gonna have this in your house or in your car like I do. This is the bottom where the tray slide in. When the cage is completely put together, the tray will slide in and the back wall has a rivet that stops it from sliding out the back and it works well. It's welded so it's very solid. And here is the classic blue bottom part. This is the trademark of the Bully Camp Kennels crate. It allows for the puppy's feet to be nice and tight uh, and piss and feces could fall right through the bottom of it. This is the divider, the divider of the cage. The divider slides into the cage, as I'll show you later on in this video, and sits to make the cage nice and sturdy. These are the side walls of the cage. The side walls has these little rivets on it that slides into the bottom of the cage and allowing you to use less screws to keep this cage nice and tight and sturdy. This is the back of the cage. The back of the cage has a little piece at the bottom, as you can see, that stops the trays from sliding back out. They work real well. The back of the cage also has these rivets right here that allows for the, the divider to slide back and to stop and lock into place. This is the back of the cage. Here's the front of the cage. As you can see at the bottom, it has a little sliders where you would slide the tray in. The doors have two notches, one at the top, one at the bottom. If you want to open the door, you have to hit both notches at the same time, which makes it difficult. The feeders have one notch, you hit it, it opens very easily. This is the piece where you slide the divider in. This is the little rivet. It slides down it and falls. It allows it to not fall out of the front. It makes the cage real sturdy when divided. This is the top of the cage. What more can I say? Let's get into it. We're going to build this beast. I've been using this cage for about two months now and it's working real well. I even have one in my car that I travel with. I've contacted the bully camp. I want that 43 inch still when that breaks down easily for my, for my truck. Until I get it, I'm going to use this. It works real well, so we're going to get this cage put together so you can see how beautiful it looks. I like that it doesn't require many screws to put this cage together, so it breaks down and puts together real easy. One person could do it, as you can see. The only part about putting this cage together that I didn't like to do by myself is the fact that when you got to get the front or the back on, you sort of have to hold it up and screw and hold at the same time. So it makes it a little difficult, but not impossible. I would suggest, again, uh, having your own tools make it a lot easier to put this, uh, this cage together. 
Then I'm gonna put on the sidewalls. As you can see, there's little holes in the bottom of the crate that allows you to slide those rivets of the sidewalls right into it. It is sturdy, allows for you to use less screws. Again, one of the reasons I like this dog cage. It slides right in nice and easy. Plank. We're gonna put this thing right together. I've loved this cage since I've had it. Uh, there are a few things that I would change, but not many. I do wish the top of this cage could just open up and stay up. That would make it uh, an even better cage. The blue flooring has been working wonderful, like I said in the beginning. It keeps the dog's posture as well. It allows for the piss to fall through, and we all know we don't want the piss on our dogs. That's what causes a lot of irritation and rashes. I, myself, I like to use puppy pads in there. It soaks it up. I did try the wood shavings. That's not the way to go. I'm sliding in the, um, the trays right now, and they're not going to go all the way back because remember that ribbon on the back of there is stopping it from going in. Because it's hollow, I do use my caps to put them in. I'm not trying to cut myself, pinch myself, none of that. So as you can see, I'm sliding in the divider right now. It's gonna drop, boom, it locks in. That ribbon in the front stops it from coming out. The ribbon in the back stops it from going out the back. Keeps it real nice and sturdy. The top is a little bit difficult to put on by yourself, so if you have a little help, I would suggest using it. But since my cameraman would have been my help, I'ma do it by myself, check it out. So now that we got this cage all put together, let's see what it looks like. I've been using the cage, like I said, for quite some time. I can't wait until his whelping cages come out. Those are gonna be dope. I think I'm gonna grab one of them. Um, like I said, man, you guys should go out and grab this cage if you have multiple dogs. You can use this cage for many different things. You can go to dog shows, house them in the cage in your house when you're trying to house train dogs. That's what I use my cage for. It's beautiful. <laughs>